Okay, this is the Genesis Automated Residual Seal Force Tester, model AWG. Uh, power's been applied and I've gone into the calibration screen which is available when you power it up. If you go into the run mode, the calibration function does go away and you can restart that by hitting the emergency switch and then resetting it again and the calibration uh, availability will be there. I'm in this mode so you can see the operation. I've disabled the uh, safety interlock so you can see this better and that's why this is here. Um, so it's already been set up and calibrated and you can see here we have the force pound reading. Um, it's accurate uh, to uh, plus or minus 0.5 pounds uh, so we zeroed and if you wanted to re-zero it you just hit load cell enable and then undo it and it resets it to to what it can um, so I want to hit load cell enable until it's highlighted like that um, I've already selected slow speed but you can select slow or fast for movement of the arm and at this point I'm in slow and I'm going to jog it down so you'll see the pressure uh, force increase here and then we'll be able to go over and look at the dial on the force gauge uh, to see that there has been a change. Uh, so right now on the force gauge we're at about zero. I'm going to reset that to zero and I'm going to jog it down and as you can see on the force gauge it's be beginning to move And since that's moved there, you can also look up here and see that our force pounds applied is here. And this is how you would uh, calibrate it. You would then go into the calibrate mode and to change it, this has already been done. And uh, usually it, was, it would be done with the load cell platform, which is this in place, but I was unable to fit our tester in there with this. So uh, that's why that's out. Uh, I would recommend getting a the proper um, tester that can fit on the load cell for for that. This arm and platform have fixtures that are product dependent, so therefore uh, you would have to get for whatever you're going to be testing. You're going to would have to get the proper vial seat and uh, cap seat uh, for for each end of that. So I'm going to uh, jog up out of here and the force will decrease and you can see that we now have the ability to take that out and this would screw into here and this is the way you'll receive it and then with the appropriate uh, fixtures on here you would be able to do the testing that you desire I'm going to say that we're done uh, with the calibration and this is the screen that would come up when you power it up and you can see that calibrate is here um, and then I can home everything at this point so our home it says drive is homing and it's ready to run at this time we are unable to run because we do not have the fixtures necessary to do that it also has a range function here uh, where you tell it what the range that you want to do uh, your testing with. Has jog up, jog down buttons. And as you can see, the I was able to run a test where it applied pressure. And it was able to do a test compression that went, went through the right sequences and it went through the right testing procedure. Unfortunately, it would error out because of the fixtures not being in place. Uh, but the functioning of the, uh, of the motors and everything worked exactly the way it should be.